this is the Flaming Water, and I am here playing some more Subnautica. Yay. And I'm gonna do what I said last time. It's been a couple of days since I filmed last video. So. And I haven't watched it at all since the day I edited it, which is a while ago. So. I can't quite remember what I was doing. I think I said after fixing the life pod to the well, that I would build one of these. A habitat builder! But, I'm missing a few things. But, if I want to do that, I might want to scan a few things. The scanner can be used to synthesize from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Oops. Sorry, my fault. I... Oops. I'm sorry if it's a bit quieter, the game, than last time. I'll fix the sound. Um, next video, I promise. You're hungry again? Oh, come on. Ow, that hurt. But I can scan almost everything in the game. Once you get the scanner, you should start scanning as many things as possible. I wish this guy would stop biting me in the back. It hurts. Ooh, cut creek vine with knife. Yes. Major glitch. You're not supposed to jump out of the water like that. And I don't think you're supposed to be able to ride a stalker. That's what's cool. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of these. You might think, because there's such a huge abundance of the stuff, and it's huge and gives a lot of resources, that you won't need it for a run in the game. But that would be a lie. You do need it. It's very important stuff. So if you're playing this and you've already got your house, collect as much of this as possible and put it in a locker. Because you will need it to build almost everything in the game. It's important. So pick up as much of it as you can. Entering this plane, 
apart from a couple of these. Scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. The red grass. Thirty seconds. So weird. But did you see that? We found a new rock. We should scan it, figure out what's in it. Because with this tool, we can actually figure out what is in these stones we've been breaking. But from knowledge of playing this game, I know what's in every stone. And every stone looks quite different. Scan you. Ooh. And when you're playing this game, did you see that? Um, there. That thing basically is telling me that there's a call. You should very much look on every corner of your screen. Try and not focus on one area at a time. Because when you're looking at something, little tip here, I'll just go down saying I haven't scanned yet. That I can scan. This is weird. Like this. You'll see, oops, wrong button, like right in this side of my screen, a button. And it basically means you can scan this. So it's one of the reasons why you want to be looking left and right of your screen. What the? What the? What? I've never seen acid mushrooms grow on cold tubes like that before. And I thought I've seen it all. I've obviously not spawned in this area before. That looks strangely familiar. So I do know what that is. My life pod normally spawns away from this giant shape here. In fact, my life pod is closest to the tail of the aurora. Some are further out that way. But the most common spawns are out that way. Since, like, your life pod is one of the only things that isn't generated the same. This is life pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. No! Signal location uploaded to PDA. We've got some people that need to be rescued. Hopefully whatever's out there hasn't already got them. Because that would be bad. Oh. I don't think I remembered to break open that new ore. You should see what's in it. Lead, silver, and gold. That's all we need to know about it. Oh no! They've got a damage 
she got? What? Wait a second. A quantum detonation. Whatever that means, it sounds like something's about to explode. When I said whatever that means, I mean, how is this thing going to explode? I. I have no idea, is it going to destroy the entire planet? I don't know how powerful the explosion will be. Will it be powerful enough to turn this entire area here into just... Um, weird little crater of... like lots of dead creatures because an explosion sounds bad I mean, if only there was a way to stop it from happening that would probably be a lot better for the creatures and life forms we're seeing here Hopefully, in this biome, we will be able to find some of that stuff. Oh, lead. Oh, life pod free. Here's their sea glide. It's destroyed. Now we know their sea glide didn't quite make it. And their wait, theirs doesn't have the things that ours did, or it didn't have them out fast enough. Because our head, ours had like floaty things. Oh, we got a, a compass. We got a compass. Ooh. That's good news. Wait. What do we need? Ooh. So we need two coral, t table coral samples, gold and copper wire, and silver. Can you before I swim? Wait, what? The thing was infected? And it bit me! You're infected? You're sick? Are we sick now? Complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. But 
Well, we just got bit by a sick creature. Wouldn't that make us sick now? Are we gonna have whatever that thing has? No. No, 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 no. I got bit by the last one. That's not beautiful. Are an essential component of many habitat modules. 30 seconds. We need to look into those things. No, no, no. Why would it be my primary My primary diet to swim closer to the creature that just bit me. Why? No, I'm not looking at you. Whatever it did, it probably did when I looked at it. Maybe I looked at it wrong. No, I, I need to... You want me to swim closer? You got to swim closer to me, because I'm not moving from the spot until I have. Get back! Aw, this poor thing's look sick too. I think I saw sickness on it. Yeah. What do they have? It's definitely hurting them. I wish there was a way that I could. Make you not sick anymore. Hopefully, since I. Hopefully, I don't get sick. But I probably will, since. A sick one of those creatures bit me. Be advised a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation. Followed by eventual asphyxiation. It's fine. I won't lose my orientation. It's quite obvious. It's up because you can't go. Because you can't look any further. And it's down because you can't look any further. And you can also see her. And if you look at the way the fish are swimming! No! 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 I'm not swimming closer to you. I'm swimming further away from you. I, I don't want to look at you. That, it's like the second dangerous thing I've found. Or is it the third? I think it's the third. Stay near this coral brain. Hopefully the coral brain isn't sick too. It is your primary directive to swim closer oh. to that beautiful. It is your primary No, I don't want to swim closer. What? The effect on my screen's bugged out. Aha. They can hypnotize me. I need to get what I need and get out of here. Because I'm nearly out of time for this episode. Oh no. My complication for when I'm swimming in caves in Subnautica is the fact that... I quite easily run out of space for items. I need better fins. Look at these fins. I don't care. Look at these fins. They're so small. I'm getting thirsty. Well, that's good to know. Live Pod 3 had an underwater cave that 
has a coral formation that um, makes ear. I need space. Yay. Luckily my storage problem will be solved after I make a base. Because how easy it is to make lockers. Oh, I need coral tab. Table coral. I got a coral tablet. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, so glitched. What are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that thing gonna poison me? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Time to make some wiring. Computer chip. Oh, advanced wiring kit. We can make an advanced version of this. Oh, we have quite a lot. Now, we need as much of that as we can get. Which means... Slot. The builder who is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Whoa, it's night. I can I can tell. Now we need to make that. First We have one corridor, one simple corridor. We're gonna put a hatch on that simple corridor. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Oh no, do I have enough? No, we don't. Sadly. That's where I'm going to put my metal. That's it for this episode. Keep on flaming!